Hey Cancer, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-March general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope everyone is doing well. So, and I almost said Aquarius. So some of you guys could be dealing with Aquarius sun sign individual or a situation that you just began in Aquarius season or a situation where you're starting to notice something in your relationship or with a love interest in Aquarius season, okay, which we literally just got out of. So when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Hello, It's Me Again by the Isley Brothers. I will leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it, follow the reading if you so choose to. Now in the intro of the song, Ron Isley said hello like a million and one times. <laughs> I got a couple messages from that. So for some of you guys, you could be realizing that you are dealing with someone who is quite territorial. They want to know where you are at all times. They are texting and calling you nonstop. For some of you all, I'm seeing and like this person wants to literally FaceTime you. And in one sentiment, it felt very romantic. Like, oh, this person always wants to see me all the time. But in another sentiment, some of you guys are kind of realizing like, ah, do they really want to see me all the time or are they just checking to see where I am or who I'm with? I'm, okay, that's why I'm getting there. Some of you guys are a little suspicious about this person's motive or they may feel like this about you. Okay, so let's see what we get for you guys today. We are going to change the card at the top and the bottom of the deck. We would do the same for your clarifying deck. And as always, there's absolutely no reversals in either one of my decks. So once I start shuffling, if I get reversals, I will read it as such. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the Wheel of Fortune. And I literally heard it like the game show, Wheel of Fortune. So some of you guys could have felt like you hit the jackpot with this person. But I also get that some of y'all could feel like it's some monkey business going on. You know, this rabbit talks about fertility, abundance, a very strong union, a very strong relationship with this lion here. Some of you guys can be dealing with a Leo. But I also notice right here you have this monkey right here. And it's like, as the months go by, you kind of feel like, okay, something, something is kind of funky here. But overall, I don't feel like this is a negative relationship. I just feel like, and it's interesting because I'm, I'm, I literally just heard this. This looks like it could be an old-fashioned clock. Like somebody's clocking you every step of the way. Like they're just keeping tabs on you. Now, keep in mind the Wheel of Fortune is Major Arcana, so that's a definite energy. I do feel like this was fortunate and fated for you two to connect and meet each other. But I'm going to say this again. Somebody is very protective of you. Look at that lion. He has his eyes directly on us very he's not wavering, unwavering. This person has their eye on you, keeping tabs on you. And they're very powerfully protective of you. And you know that's exactly how the, the lion energy is. So this person has very strong feelings for you. Very protective of you. You do feel very abundant with this person. Because I, I am, you know, keyword fortune. I, I am getting energy of abundance here. But you also feel like something could be... Okay, I just heard smoldering. This, this is like lava here, you know. Like this person's passions could be a little overwhelming for you at times, you know. Yeah, because I just keep looking at this lion, how he's looking at us like this. His his eyes are on the prize. Like this person is keeping tabs on you, okay? They they feel very strongly about you. And I feel like for some of you also, it's a bit suffocating. You know what I mean? So let's see what we get for you guys today. We are going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which is the chariot. We will get the card that comes before and the card that comes after and then clarifies for both, okay? Let's change the card, top and the bottom of the deck again. Currently at the bottom of the deck, five of pentacles, lack, loss, abandonment, being left out in the cold. Now, it's very interesting because you just had the will of fortune, and then now you have the heaviest card of lack here. Some of you guys could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn with this earthy energy. What I'm really getting, I really feel like this is a past energy. Like, you were in relationships that made you feel lack, relationships that made you feel as though, you know, there was a bit of hardship and struggle. And then with this new situation, there's a lot of abundance here, but it's also like, you may feel like this person is a bit controlling. You know what I'm saying? Because if you notice, she has her hand out almost like she has to ask for some type of allowance or something or for some type of clearance before she makes a decision is what I'm getting. Some of you guys could feel like that in this situation, okay? So let's go through the deck and get you guys a major arcana. You got two knights here to start off. And I always tell you guys, knights are either going into battle or coming out of battle. They're going in the same direction. And that's a card of reconciliation right here. The judgment card, reconciliation, bringing a situation back to life. 
I'm going to say this for some of you all, you moved out of a situation with possibly an earth sign, okay, who left you in, in lack or lack mentality, or lack energy, or this person may have had a lack mentality, and you moved on to someone new, and it seems like now that you've moved on to a different relationship, now this person wants to come back. And also, I'm going to get, some of you guys could feel like you're always dealing with the same type of person, different body, same type of person, and you always have this, these individuals who, in the beginning, they hide their true intentions to conquer, because if someone's going into battle, they want to be victorious, and they want to conquer something, and I always tell you guys, head to toe and armor, and also the fact that they have helmets on where you can't see their face. If there's a helmet, a face shield, a mask, something that obscures their your vision and you can't see what they look like completely, it's something hidden. So some of you guys are always dealing with people who have kind of a bit of a conquer, a mentality that they want to conquer people. Again, the energy of control, because this comes following right behind her with her hand out, kind of like, you know, okay... Asking for clearance, asking for permission, if you will. And if you look at his face, it's kind of like, hmm, I'll think about it. Look at his face. You see that? It's kind of like, he's like, eh, I'll think about it. Let's see. Let's see what we get for you guys today. The chariot and the card that comes before and the card that comes after for cancer. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus individuals. Some of you guys could be um, pregnant because I just stopped at that queen of cups unintentionally and she does have a bit of a baby bump there and then i just stopped on the page of pentacles yeah some of you guys could have a child with this individual or you will be having a child with this individual soon possibly in may because you do have the five of pentacles there will also be some financial struggles in this relationship right now this person still wants to be put on a pedestal okay we went past your card so, yeah, just like I was saying, there's something that you all are not seeing because I'm going through it and I literally glanced right past um, the chariot. So there's something that you all didn't see. And I know that because, again, helmets, you can't see what this person looks like. Helmets, you can't see what this person looks like. So it's like the fact that I glanced completely past you guys, Major Arcana, it's also giving me an energy like you keep meeting the same type of people because you're not noticing something. And, and see where I stopped at with this half of the deck, it's a burden. Okay, and you need to come to the end of that cycle because you have 10 right here. It's 10 of wands and 10 in numerology talks about the end of a cycle. And they're saying that you need to pay attention to the signs, synchronicities, and the, it's like the same cycles all over again. And it's causing you lack. You know, you're investing because pinnacles are investments. They hold value. You're investing in situations where you're not getting much out of it because you keep running to the same people all over again. And it's not really helping you in any way. So again, we are looking for the chariot. Yeah, you're glancing right over something or not noticing things in the door. Huh. It's definitely in the deck. Wow, yeah, it's right. And it's the very last one. Look at that. So again, yeah, they're saying that this is the burden here. Ooh, okay, check this out. Yep, that's what the message is. So the card in front of here Behind it, you have the Ten of Wands. Right in front of it is the Two of Cups. I'm telling you, they're saying you're going through the same heaviness, the same burdens in love. Two of Cups, soulmates, love. Because it feels, it seems like you're seeing things with one eye open. I'm just noticing that because you only have one fish. When you're talking about a pair, it should be two fish. There's only one. So you keep seeing things from one perspective. Okay, and also one eye, I'm just getting their third eyes. They're telling you to tap into your spiritual knowledge because you guys have a soulmate that's destined to come in, but it's like you're not paying attention to something when it comes to matters of the heart. And I know that because you have major kind of the fool card. Okay, Aquarius, Aries energy, taking a leap of faith into something new. It seems like you like literally jump through hoops for people because you're very loyal. Dogs to know the energy of loyalty and companionship. You jump through hoops for people. And I know this resonates with you guys also because even though this is not your card, in one hand you have the Gemini symbol and in the other there's yours. So you guys jump through hoops for people and it leaves you going through some type of heaviness and hardship. It leaves you carrying the grunt of whatever relationship has encompassed. Yep. And you weren't seeing that and that's why we gloss right over the chariot. Okay. So let's go ahead. You got, yep. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you guys already know where I'm going to go with this. With the nine of cups, this is your energy. He looks very comfortable, very confident, very happy to be where he is. The nine of cups is wish fulfillment, but what's behind that blue curtain? 
So he's so happy about all of this abundance that he doesn't even notice that there's something else right up under there behind that that can kind of ruin and wreck shop. And that's exactly, and that goes exactly to where we were with the cherry, like overlooking it. And it was right here in my hand. So in other words, they're saying like the signs to things could be right in your face, but you're not seeing it because you get so wrapped up in the whole energy of love. Even if this is new, old, whatever the case is, you could be with this person here for 10 plus years, nine plus years. doesn't matter. They're saying that there's things that you're seeing now about this person or this ex that is reflective of the present. And it's just making you realize like, okay, I should have been paying attention Cause I'm even hearing right now, like somebody, you know, love is, is like hypnotic to some of you all. And it makes a lot of sense. You know, you guys resonate with the energy of the moon, the moon's emotions and feelings. So you guys could be very deeply enthralled when it comes to matters of the heart. But then it's like, it's something about it that you're not paying attention to that is causing some type of discord or heaviness in your life. It's part of the deck. And you guys see me just part of this randomly. Like, I'm telling you right now, the devil, Major Arcana, some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn specifically. It doesn't have to be. But it's like you you get bound, like immediately you fall for this person and you become immediately attached. Their problems is your problems, you know. And it's just like their problems is your problems. You know, you're carrying the load of the relationship. This, a lot of you guys could be dealing with some karmic relationships right now. Some of you all have karmic relationships that are coming to an end. Because you see how he has a scroll right here. That karmic contract has flames on it. So something coming to an end. And also, you have Capricorn. They have Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. I feel like for some of you all, this person... Because I'm hearing this very strongly. Their problems become your problems. Like, they could have financial debts. And you're taking it on. Because you feel like that's what you're supposed to do as a partner. Mm-hmm. Let's clarify that. Yeah, some of you guys are definitely taking on their financial debts with the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups in reverse. You're not happy about it, but you're taking on this person's debt or something unstable because Pentacles talks about the foundation of stability also. So something is unstable in these people that you are dealing with. They could be mentally or emotionally. Cups is emotions and feelings. You could constantly be coming across mentally or emotionally unstable people. So let's get a clarifier. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a fire sign. Leo says Aries here. Let's get a clarifier for the two of cups and the ten of wands. Bottom of the deck, absolutely. So I feel like, because we stopped here also, right? And I like that. Because I feel like a lot of you all are finally seeing it for what it is. Seeing situations for what they were. Yeah, definitely. Because in the past you weren't. You see, it was poking out the high priestess in reverse. Up right, this is oh my god. So remember, I literally had the your, you guys major arcana in my hand and gloss completely past it. That's what the high priestess in reverse is all about. Okay, high priestess up right, she's all seeing, all knowing. She got the T, she already know what the D what the deal is, all right. Some of you guys, first, middle, or last initial, you or your person could be B, T, J, C, U, W, or M, also H. B, T, J, C, U, M, W, or H. Mm -hmm. And that's Piscean energy. So I feel like in Pisces season, a lot of you all are going to be getting some clarity. And that's going to help you move forward into happier and healthier situations when it comes to matters of the heart. And you all will definitely have a very trusted and loyal companion by your side during your journey, right? So let's get a clarifier for the Two of Cups. Yeah, the <laughs> very mimicking of the message, these cards that are flipping out. Clarifier for the two of cups for cancer. Wow. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, individuals. Yeah. They're saying that you guys are getting it. You're getting the message. You are getting ready to drop these burdens. Right now, some of you guys are still carrying on with a relationship that is heavy. I feel like you're going to get ready to drop that and release it because you've had the fool card twice. That's major arcana, so that's definite energy. Yep. Soon as I said that, you guys are releasing. Okay. Four of Pentacles is literally holding on for dear life. In reverse, you're releasing. You are releasing a relationship with someone that you felt as though was a soulmate because it's not giving you much value. Keep in mind, we stopped at the five of pentacles. Now you have the four, you know, and if you think about it, the five to the four, that's backsliding. And some of you guys are like, I'm not doing that anymore. I have to release these karmic relationships. And even though this is a very positive card with these cards here is definitely talking about releasing something that was very heavy and burdenous. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Absolutely. 
Six of Pentacles, because you need to balance out the scales. Again, Pentacles talks about stability, balance, equilibrium. And you also were dealing with people who are breadcrumbing you. And again, going back to this energy right here, this is what I was saying. Some of you guys could be dealing with people who always want to manipulate what comes in, what goes out. You see how she has her hand out? Same energy here. And you're only getting a little bit like somebody who wants to put you. So, okay, what I'm getting very strongly is some of you all are dealing with people who like to be in control of everything. And it may be something with past life situations or something with this lifetime where you may have dealt with a strong male figure, even if you're a male, because you do have these strong male energies here, right? And even right here, there's one fish that's coming from the male. Some of you guys could have been dealing with very strong male figures in your life who have preconditioned you to feel this way. Because all of this is male energy that's that's more forceful. Just going to clarify for the Ten of Wands. Okay. Yep. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm going to say this again. Some of you guys, when it, especially with this energy here, right? Some of you guys are used to dealing with people and I'm hearing putting up, putting up with people who were financially responsible or you were very submissive when it came to a relationship, feeling as though a man should be the head of the household. Or if you are a male watching this, feeling as though you should always carry the burden and then this person is not adding value, you know, you're doing everything, taking care of the house and things like that. Whatever the case, it just seems like this has been a burden. This has been an ongoing cycle. And I feel like this is being released. Someone is no longer in that energy. A lot of you all are no longer dealing with situations where somebody has control over your monetary and over your stability. Just overall, all encompassing regarding your stability. Because Pentacles definitely talks about the tangible, the earthly, the physical. Also, for some of y'all, you could be working at a job that you're ready to leave because it's just not doing it for you anymore also. That's what I'm getting. Okay. So, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.